Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twitch. So every time I uh, boot up Chrome OS, and Miriam, you're a Chrome OS I'm fan. I'm a big aficionado like of Chromebooks. You have the I have Pixel? Yeah. So this is the one that Google makes that is, all, you know, like 1300 bucks. I mean, it's really expensive. But it's metal. It's got a touch screen. There's got a lot of really nice features. And I brought it out because I wanted to uh, compare it to the latest $300 uh, Chromebook from Samsung. Uh, one of the first things, and I don't need to tell you too much about Chromebooks. I'm sure you know already uh, the details. It's an it's a OS from Google that is based on the Chrome browser. Anything a Chrome browser can do, you can do in Chrome OS, but nothing else. It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't allow you to install apps or anything. They all have to be plugins uh, for Chrome. So, in fact, if you want to know what would it be like to use Chrome OS, just launch Chrome on your computer, on your Mac or your Windows PC, and then don't use anything else. That's what it's like. Uh, on the other hand, what I love about this, and every time I set up a new Chromebook, I kind of go, wow, that was easy. All you have to do is turn on the Chromebook, enter your Google credentials, and boom, all your bookmarks are there. Everything. The, the, the way you've got it set up to look, uh, all of your apps. And Google has really done a lot to make Chrome more and more like a real uh, operating system, including the app, uh, little app drawer here that holds all of the installed apps. They call them apps. They're so it, really just It's Chrome interesting you, you brought that up because, you know, if you were to install Chrome on your Windows or Mac right now, you wouldn't there are some there's some functionality. No, you do get this. They, you get this, but it's a you know it's it's a kind you think of it's not as nice. On. I don't yeah. think it's it's actually nicer on Chrome this part. Yeah. Settings uh, are all in uh, the system tray down here on the right, if you don't mind me using a Windows term. And one of the settings that I think makes a Chromebook extra special is uh, in the advanced settings, it's called Power Wash. <laughs> Power Wash takes the Chromebook and wipes it, brings it back to the, the way it was when it came from the factory, including deleting all your data, your logins, and everything. And that's what makes a Chromebook so special. Because, first of all, it's somewhat secure anyway because you can't install unsafe extensions. You can't download right. malware. If you, if you heard about the, you know, the problem people have with their no, Lenovo laptops, there's, there's no super fish on here. There, there can't be. This is all Chrome, all from Google. But if you should at any time be, feel like, oh, I'm a little unsafe, you just power wash it and you're back. It automatically updates, which is really nice. And it does um, it really well too like it just does all, it in the background clean. it puts up a little icon on the yep. bottom here says, that says update updates ready and whenever you feel like you click on that button it reboots if you're a, a google plus user or google now user rather you'll get your google now notifications in the list little system tray here i'm i'm of anyway we don't need to go on and on about chromebooks people are used to them let's talk about what's specific on this one this is samsung's uh, most recent edition. They call it their Chromebook 2. It feels like they've had more than two generations, but it is very much a Samsung product right down to the faux stitch <laughs> plastic that you'll see on the Galaxy uh, phones. And Note 3. The Note 3. Not on the Note 4, interestingly enough, but on the Note 3. Uh, it still survives on the Chromebook. Um, but look how thin it is, how light. A very, very comfortable feel. This is a 13-inch screen, high def, um, what, what I also like about it, uh, with no touch, by the way, is it's got very good battery life. Samsung's claiming eight or nine hours. It's roughly twice that of the Pixel. That was one thing that I didn't like about the Pixel because it was an older, frankly, uh, processor. This is a very fast Samsung Exynos processor, what they call an octo-core. I don't know if you need eight cores of processing on a Chrome browser. <laughs> you open a lot of tabs, Miriam. Well, it's, tabs are about RAM on Chromebooks, and uh, the this CPU is, speed is really, like, a dual-core Intel Celeron performs, about, performs yes. about the same as an eight-core yeah. ARM. Like, ARM isn't quite as oomphy I don't know, know why as, you would even need, Intel, so. need eight cores, but but you can. Uh, you can, and uh, contrary to what Microsoft and its Pawn Star ads implied, you can use this offline. There are offline versions of Google Mail and so forth. You can't do Google searches offline, but a lot of the work that you like to do can be done offline on this. The screen is pretty good, and you can see uh, not great at an angle. That's not necessarily a bad thing. It's certainly bright enough, and you can turn it up uh, to even brighter. That's as bright as it gets, and I think it's very legible. Uh, 1080p, no touch. I, I miss touch a little bit, but what we have to remember that the Chrome OS really isn't designed with touch in mind, so it's not like you need touch. For a student at 299 uh, 16 gigs of storage, 2 gig. I think it's 2 gigs of RAM. Now I have to pull up the specs. I think again. you're right. It's two is, gigs that, of RAM. is that right? Yeah. 
Um, the high end Chromebooks all have four, and the two, the lower. No, end this has, one's four now. Wow, this one's four, four now. now. Nice for two ninety nine. So this right. is good for tabs. If you open a lot of tabs, you, you could want have a lot of tabs. I've never understood the tab fetish, but people do have it. Four gigs of RAM, the Octa fifty eight hundred. Uh, that's an eight core. Sixteen gigs of storage isn't a lot, but you do, of course, as with all Chromebooks, get a hundred gigabytes of Google Drive. You could add to that. I've got a terabyte of Google really Drive. You don't really store anything on a Chromebook. Put it on here, and you it has it micro SD on it. That's kind of neat too. Um, so we have a USB cable, a microphone a headset uh, connector, yeah, USB connector, there another USB connector here, HDMI, and under here, not an SD card, but a micro SD card slot. So you could add up to sixty-four gigs of additional. Yeah, it's uh, great. You there. know what I love about these uh, entry-level priced Chromebooks, personally? You can lose them and don't have to feel bad. No, there's that, definitely. But I think <laughs> compared to a tablet at the same price, a lot of people are like, why wouldn't I buy a tablet? Because this gives you the typing and trackpad experience of a Mac right. at $299. And if all you're doing is spending your day on the web browser, which a lot of people do, this is awesome. People kind of forget that most of what they do really is in a browser now. For the keyboard email. is so good on this phone. Yeah, and so high recommendations. Uh, the keyboard is, very, is, as you say, very much like a MacBook. It's the short travel, uh, kind of chiclet-style keys. I like it a lot. The trackpads are much improved over earlier Chromebooks. This is as good as, it's, you know, as any trackpad on any PC. I would say that the trackpads on most Chromebooks are better than the trackpads on most Windows machines. Cheap Windows machines, for sure. Now, this is more expensive than, than something like the HP Stream. It's $299, but I think a really good choice for anybody who wants the Chrome OS, whether, it's, uh, whether you're a, an individual who just doesn't need more than a browser and wants the security of Chrome OS, a student uh, for school, this is a great choice. Um, I've been, I'm really a fan of, I've turned around completely. I really see the, the value of a Chromebook, uh, and I have to say this is certainly one of the best ones out there. On the pros, great keyboard, great trackpad, Lightweight, four gigs of RAM means lots of tabs just for you. <laughs> and an eight-core processor means you're not going to run out of steam. It also has pretty decent battery life for a Chromebook. Samsung is saying about eight hours. You can see I have uh, six hours and 47 minutes left with 93%. So that, that pretty much confirms uh, that. The cons, it isn't a touch screen. It's a little bit lower res screen than perhaps a Chromebook Pixel. I don't find it that, that a disadvantage. But you can, I think it's IPS, you can kind of see the... It has a matte screen, it. which I think is great. Matte is nice, isn't it? It doesn't glare mm -hmm. quite as much as, uh, say, watch out, watch all the glare you get on. Look, this. it's You could it's use Leo. this as a mirror. Hello. Hey, everybody. That's the, <laughs> that's the pixel. So, yeah, I'm not, I like the, uh, I like the, uh, the glary screens myself. Is it but a if buy you want a matte you? screen, absolutely a buy yeah. on uh, the Samsung. This is the Chromebook 2 from Samsung, except for the stitching. That's another con. But not a big con. It does what it does have is it's not slippery. Some Chromebooks are a little it's, bit slippery. It's I think also not going to scratch too easily. Yeah, it's kind of yeah. like this rubber nice coated surface. soft touch yep. finish, yep. right? Good yeah. sound, good image, good screen, good keyboard, good trackpad. There's not much to differentiate, frankly, uh, Chromebooks. But this is absolutely one of the leaders now uh, in the Chromebook uh, field. Maybe the best one uh, out there if you want to spend less than a thousand dollars. Samsung Chromebook to a buy.